Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over some cybersecurity stuff. I want to do some cybersecurity training. I want to cover what are CVEs, how the CVEs work, why they're important, your, now they're important to your organization, why should we know it if you're going into security, even if you're not in security, even if you're being, if you, even if you're in help that system admin, why it's important. Obviously, if you need to make sure you know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, greatly appreciate it, and share this video. All right, so today I want to go over CVEs because I made a video on Defender, and people were like, half the people on my channel are like, what is he? I have no idea what he's doing. So because of that, I have to cover CVEs. I have to cover basic entry-level security topics because a lot of people that are that watch my videos are not pe are people that come from a restaurant background, retail, fast food, et cetera, et cetera, people that don't have experience in IT. So I'm going to try to break this down in a non-tech way where hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. And hopefully by the end of this video, you get you have more insightful information and you have useful information that you could use for your job if you're trying to get into security, talking about the blue team, defending, SOC analyst stuff. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm doing right now. So let's go over this real quick. I'll share my screen. And it should be a it shouldn't be a long video. It should be fun. All right. So let me share my screen. Uh we're gonna go to screen three. Uh share. So today, like I said, it's an introduction to CVEs. Uh, I'm going to try to zoom out a little bit. Zoom in a little bit there. There we go. I'm not going to do full screen today. I'm just going to do it like this because that's usually how I, I like to teach it. Um, so like people ask me, what's a CVE? So it's a common word really in um, exposures, right? So systems provide a method for public sharing information on cybersecurity vulnerabilities and exposures. So each, each CVE is like, has like an identification number, right? So, for example, like there's this example right here, CVE 2021-442228. There's a vulnerability of log4j library, right? So, so a CVE is basically is common vulnerability. So it's like a, a like think of it as, and I'll give you a real life example, right? I'll stop sharing for a second. We're human, right? So we're vulnerable to getting sick. So imagine you get a virus. Um, you get a, you got a you got a a common cold or you get a flu or whatever, right? Now you're vulnerable to other illnesses because you're sick, right? Because as you get sick, you get you're vulnerable to other illnesses. It's the same thing with security. So if if someone someone has a computer and there's a vulnerability on it, then it people are able to get in or do whatever they want on that computer because now it's vulnerable. Now it has a cold or it's sick. It has a virus. It has malware. It has a trojan. It has something, right? Um. And CV, CV land, like what I just went over right now, um, there are vulnerabilities that something on your system may have. Like, for example, like Google Chrome needs to be updated because of maybe it, it got attacked recently, or maybe you have a piece of software that just opened up a service, a port, or opened up something on the computer, and now it's vulnerable because of that. Not anyone can go in and do whatever they want. So they, they think of it that way, if that makes sense. Try to, try to be super non-technical as possible with this stuff, because I don't want to confuse you guys okay so i'm going to share my screen again so so you have your identification you have your details right so it's like basically what is the impact of that cve right so like so there'll be reports of security researchers so people actually do get paid to do this by the way like to look at vulnerabilities and look at things that are messed up um there's public repository so like there's an actual website that you look at cves online and we're going to go over that today so there's a website that goes over CVEs, um, you know, things like that. Um, and standardization provide common identifiers for identifiers for vulnerabilities. CV allows different security products, services to share data more effectively. And then uses security, like we track vulnerabilities, we want to make sure that it's handled in a timely manner. Um, because obviously, if you have if you work in a company and you have a C, you have a, a vulnerability, you want to make sure you patch it, you you fix it, right? You don't want you don't want that computer being vulnerable. You don't want that computer being taken over, right? Or you don't want that web browser being unsecure, or you don't want this application being unsecure. So, like I said, CVEs is more about more about vulnerabilities and exposures because when you're vulnerable, you're you could be exposed to anything. It's like having, like I said, it's like having a cold. You got a cold. Now you're sick. Your immune system sucks. Now all of a sudden you 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 you, get, you could you could be you get sick to anything because your immune system is messed up. It's the same thing with a computer. The computer gets a vulnerability. Now it's messed up. Now all of a sudden anyone could get into that computer. It's the same. It's almost similar to that, right? So this is why we do patch management. So what is patch management? It's like an update. You know, you, you do vulnerability assessment. You monitor your endpoints. You analyze vulnerability risk and focus and what's urgent. 
you mitigate zero day virus or uh, you remediate whatever seconds automatically correct patches. So, um, so we have we have tools like for CVEs, like we use different tools to do patch management. So a lot of people um, think that you have a CVE and then you don't do anything, right? So like if you work in the blue team side of things, like SOC analysts, you you look at logs, you look at reports all day. We look at vulnerabilities, we look at incidents, we look at a bunch of stuff. You know, we have tickets created for vulnerabilities. We have tickets created for patch management. We have we have tickets created for a lot of different things, right? That way we are notified about certain things that are happening in our company and our systems, right? So a lot of companies may use like Manage Engine, they may use Avanti, we use Ninja One. Um, we use SSCN from which is now is called Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. So those are common tools that you'll use for CVs to patch it, to fix it. Um, and uh, as you know, as you may or may not know, Microsoft Defender loves ingest data, right? So that means it grabs information uh, about your endpoints. Your endpoints will be your computer's endpoints. Is anything, anything that is hardware related is a computer, a phone, a mobile device, a tablet. Those are what we consider our endpoints. Any devices that that are that have internet and have all these other things, right? So, uh, we consider those endpoints, right? Um, that that may be vulnerable. Even a switch in a router could be vulnerable, right? When you're setting up networks and stuff like that. So, uh, Defender is is commonly used for um looking at CVEs, uh, and helps you understand and prioritize address the vulnerabilities in the organization. So we're gonna look at we're gonna look at Defender from from a SOC analyst blue team side of way side of things. So that way you understand what is going on behind the scenes when you're doing security stuff, right? So this is this is what it is. So we have a weakness. So when you have whenever you set up, when I stop sharing, just for a second, I'll share back again. Whenever you set up a when you ever you set up all your computers and you set up everything on Defender for the first time, and then you ingest your data and you ingest all the information in there, it'll tell you like what's what what's a weakness on this computer, that computer, that computer. You can set up notifications and it'll tell you. Oh, these seven computers are vulnerable to this. Or oh, these 10 computers need to be updated to the latest version of Chrome. So those things are very important when it comes to being uh, uh, on the blue team side of things. So you want to make sure you're updating your, your systems. They're up to date. Um, there's no vulnerabilities anywhere. You know, it's just things like that. And, and I know that sounds simple and easy, but sometimes we don't do that. Like you say, oh, yeah, oh, shoot, I forgot to update that computer last week for the latest version of Chrome. And now all of a sudden, someone just got into that system, right? I mean, that's not gonna happen. Like realistically, it's not gonna happen like that. But you want to make sure that everything's up to date all the time, and you know you're patching your computers. Um, you make sure you don't have end users or customers that uh, are not waiting for two hundred days to reboot their machine to get updates, right? Things like that, right? Usually, when you update your machine with like the latest version of Windows updates, it fixes a, a lot of vulnerabilities, which is why we update our machines on a weekly basis. Which is why you should be implementing weekly restarts on the on the endpoints, all the computers of the organization that you're working for, maybe do an update on Friday night, maybe do an update on Saturday night, maybe do an update on Sunday night. Pick a day that the persons, the people are not working, that are not doing, they're not doing stuff in production, and you're able to update it, if that makes sense. So you always want to make sure that your computers are up to date, and there's no one trying to mess with your computers, if that makes sense. Try to keep it up to date with zero vulnerabilities. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share again. Um, and then this is our weaknesses right here. Yep, like I said, as you can zoom in, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. As you can see, like it it tells you the CV what the weakness is, and it'll tell you how to uh, how to fix. It. Like this one is a, a, like an easy one, like Edge. Edge is an example. Chrome is an example. Like I could go to Chrome. Like I have Chrome open right now. I go to Chrome. Maybe maybe it needs to be updated, right? Like it's like easy stuff, right? Help about Chrome. It's already up to date, so I'm gonna do anything. So like you, I just updated it just now. Like I tried running an update and it's already up to up to date. So I'm gonna do anything. So there's a weakness right there. And then once you when you click on it, um, and then later on we'll set we'll set like a defender lab with an endpoint just, just so you could, guys could look at it. Um when you see when you because this is the setup my, my work environment is almost similar to this. Uh you click on it and then it'll give you like exposed devices, like this device is right here. I'm gonna be let me get my pencil for a second. Uh, yeah, so this is the CVE. You guys could see a draw right here. Um, and then these are your exposed devices. So it'll tell you like uh, 20 out of 30 devices are exposed. 
and this is the severity, like how important is it, right? It's a medium. It's a super important. Um, updated when, right? When was it published? What's the vulnerability name, right? And then, and then here you could open up the vulnerability page. We're not going to do that today, but that's also there. And yeah, and then and then go to security, go to related security records. So this will give you a recommendation of what to do to fix that vulnerability. So things like that, right? This is, I know it sounds super easy and I'll stop drawing, but that's very important, right? Those things are very, very important when it comes to IT and cybersecurity. And one of the last thing I want to show you real quick is this website. So this is an actual website that you would go to if you are looking at vulnerabilities. Um, CVE.org and CVE will, will give you all the different problems or different problems that uh, companies are, I guess, seeing right now as vulnerabilities are concerned. So if you hit the about section, you hit the overview section right here, it'll tell you what it is. This, this closes vulnerabilities for each per companies. Every company has their own vulnerabilities that they deal with. We, that's why we have Rapid7, we have CrowdStrike, we have 701, we have Microsoft Defender, we have Microsoft Sentinel, we have all these products that we use, right, for cybersecurity just to make sure that things are up to date. Um, and here you could put the CV. Like I could go here and put, um, let me turn, let me see, Chrome, CV 2024. Um, this, this is the CV right here, right? And they'll tell you more information about it. And then they'll tell you about what it's super high. Like, Uh-oh, this is not a good, this is a bad vulnerability. And you could go in here and actually type it in and find it. And it'll tell you about it more. Like, oh, this is Chrome. Chrome allow remote attackers to execute a literary, literary, I can't even talk, ugh, literary code inside a sandbox called HTML page. Um, and then these are the affected vulnerabilities and, you know, and, and it'll give you more information here, right? And then it'll tell you how to update it or how to fix it. So like, it says right here, discussion, um, zero day virus, blah, blah, blah. So you just got to update Chrome that fixes that problem. So yeah, things like that. So and I'll stop sharing right now. Yeah, so things like that. Like like CVE, CVEs are, are a common one of really exposure. So like it could get exposed. Like once that computer gets exposed, then you could do whatever you want with it, right? You could get into it. You could attack it. I mean, it's way more way more in depth than that. But that's basically what a CVE is. It what CVE is. I want to cover what this is because I know people that watch my videos are not tech savvy. And hopefully you find this insightful. And if you want me to cover more security topics, let me know. Because I have a lot of stuff I want to cover when it comes to security, like the MITRE frameworks and a bunch of other stuff. So let me know. All right. With that being said, I hope this video was helpful. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Peace. Bye.